What the fuck did I just watch? Oh, dear God. So this is episode six of Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. And, um... You all know it. The, the title got my interest a little bit. It was, the title of the episode is uh, Present Possession or something like that. Um, I'm like, oh, okay. That actually sounds like there's a pretty good concept and idea there. And the ghosts are actually using their ghost abilities. Of course, you know, something has to go completely haywire during the writing process because it fucking sucked. <laughs> so, what happens in this episode is, um... Uh, one, one of the ghosts, the, the scientist one, uh, whatever the fuck the scientist's ghost name is, um, possesses the President Spiros. Still a stupid name. Um, and essentially what he, he tries to do is he's trying to find the, uh, the Tree of Life, which I don't know if I've ever explained in the past ones. Essentially it, it produces all the various uh, berries or pack pellet, super pellets or whatever for Pac-Man. And um, also he's trying to find this other thing where the all the ghosts' bodies are kept. I don't know why the fuck they would keep them. But <laughs> there you go. The citizens of pack roll are really creepy. So uh, obviously you can't fi find it because he's fucking stupid. So they make Pac he somehow makes Pac-Man an outlaw. <laughs> and you know, then they fix things with a, a gadget that was conveniently invented and conveniently was given to Pac-Man and conveniently Pac-Man never gave it back. But um, you know, convenience, that's how the fucking show's been working so far. <sighs> the, the fucking thing fixes everything and they live happily ever after. So, this episode, what makes it so stupid? <laughs> well, for starters, it's just basically uh, the present. How they get Pac-Man to become a um, an outlaw, essentially. Actually, not even essentially. He becomes a fucking outlaw uh, for like the last five minutes of uh, yeah, the last five minutes of the episode. Um, is the president is just. You know, suddenly like, oh, Pac-Man attacked me. Everyone get him. And it's just like, I'm sorry, but do, do, does none of them go, you want to know what? Pac-Man saved our asses a couple goddamn times. He saved the town in a two-parter. <laughs> you know, perhaps the president's just sort of blowing it out of proportion. Hell, the president's been acting pretty goddamn weird for the entire day. Just... <laughs> No one has, like, common sense in this. Oh, I should mention, there was, like, this two-minute food fight scene between Pac-Man and these two ghosts. And it was fucking stupid. Because it's like, Yeah, we're gonna use food to attack you. Wait. We're using food to attack you. Well, actually, they never realized that. That means someone had common sense in this damn show. No one has common sense. Oh, <laughs> what I like is when they outlaw them. They, they go... Pac-Man and his friends are outlaws now, but then the immediate next sequence of, like, little, uh, montage of, like, showing, you know, Pac-Man poster of Dead or Alive sort of thing all over the place. They only show Pac-Man. It's like, okay, you know, his friends, we don't give a shit about him anymore. It's just Pac-Man we want. And it's just... It's so stupid to watch. <laughs> and it seriously has gone so less funny. I... I recall saying in, in, in the last few that there's at least some sort of sign that they're at least trying to make this show good or, you know, enjoyable or at least get some sort of joke in there or something like that. But it just does not work. Hell, they have, they even drop two pop culture references, and then you I'm, I usually laugh at like references uh, to other franchises and stuff. Those didn't even do it because they didn't even make sense where they placed them. 
Uh, the first one was a reference to Pokemon of all things. Actually, both of them were really random, I must say. But, um, the first one was from Pokemon. Oh, and it's like, you gotta catch them all. I, I don't even know how, why they thought they could throw it in there. It's when, um, they're outlawing Pac-Man and the, uh, the president, the possessed president is on it, on the speaker and it was like, yeah, Pac-Man and his friends, they're outlaws, they tried to attack me. Um, in other words, gotta catch them all. It's like, wait, what? That, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would you say that? <laughs> and then the other one was, um, I think it was, uh, sorry, I don't even remember. I know, I know the reference, but I don't know where it's from. I think it's from Predator. Uh, it's, it's the line, Game Over, Man. Um, and just like one, uh, one of the ghosts says it at, at near the end when they've been defeated. And it's just like, okay, why would you, it, if they said nothing, it would have been fine. They said something, it just feels really stupid. It feels like they're trying a little bit uh, too hard, might I add. But, um... I, I, I don't think there's any hope for this series. You know... The entire time I was watching it, so I don't think I ever mentioned it, but... Uh, in the first five episodes, like... They used the possession idea very, very briefly... I mean, so briefly, it just sort of happens and then goes away as quickly as it came. And I was like, okay, why don't they just use it as a plot point? That's actually a smart idea. And of course, you know, in this episode, they're just like, oh yeah, they can only possess people for like a minute or two. That's, that's how ghosts work. But, um, <laughs> contrary to what everyone's thought, but in this one, the guy invented something that, you know, makes it different. But you think about this, think about it. You have a premise where the ghost uh, possesses someone, and of all people, they possess the president of the town. Why? Why not, I don't know, one of Pac-Man's friends? Why not, you know, circumference, you know, the fucking what's-his-face? He would make sense, or, or, hold on a second, here's a shocker, Pac-Man, you could get rid of the hero. And it problem solved. <laughs> like they make such a big fuss about how if it wasn't for Pac-Man, everything would go so smoothly. But yet they have they try so hard not to do anything about it. Like they they basically take the hugest detour to try and like do things, but never anything to get rid of Pac-Man himself. I think in one ep I think in the last episode was as close as the came was just constantly feeding him food. <laughs> that works. I, I don't even know if I said it in that episode, but it didn't. Because Pac-Man apparently is a glutton. I... It, it shows like this. Where you... Th when someone says, hey... If... It would be really cool if someone made a movie or TV show out of this game, and then your first thought is, no, that doesn't work out too well. It shows like this that can't, that basically sh demonstrate why that's not a good idea. But it is a good idea if it's done right, and it doesn't take a whole lot of thought process to make it right. In fact, I think it takes more thought process to make a show that is Pac-Man Ghostly Adventures than it is to make something that is good, and also, uh, faithful to the source material. <laughs> but, like I said, I think, I, I, I was saying before that there, it looks like they're trying, at least, but now it looks like they're trying too hard. <laughs> and, it's just, it's so stupid. Like, why didn't they just make a show out of Pac-Man World? That game has a plot to it, it has characters, it takes the characters we're very well familiar with, and they don't add any new characters. They've, you, they use a lot of these characters that have been present with this in the series before. Uh, I think the only new one they actually they add is the main villain, and he fits in perfectly, because he's just a fucking, you know, evil ghost, and it works. 
So why didn't they just use the plots from the Pac-Man World games? Because those work perfectly fine. It's just... Why? <laughs> this show is just getting worse. And I don't know if I've ever said this in any of the previous ones, but... People like this show! You hear me talking about this, and you hear me saying how terrible it is, and showing, like, not showing, but giving like examples about where these weird moments and how bizarrely dumb the plots end up being, and how they don't really utilize the concepts properly. Because they do come up with fairly interesting concepts, like this episode, and I'm pretty sure a couple episodes before they had like some that should have worked, but they didn't work. So, that's episode 7. Gonna go watch episode 8 now. No, sorry, that's 6. Fuck. God, I'm gonna watch episode 7 now. I, I don't think it's gonna be any better. Oh, until next time, keep on gaming.